Joel Embiid has a temper problem. You saw it against the New York Knicks in the playoffs last year. You can see what he is doing as a personality right now for the 76er. He's he is the face of the organization. When your face of your organization does not know how to control himself in the locker room, does not know how to keep his hands to himself, he's this isn't the first time he's had a problem. He had problems with Ben Simmons. Nothing really came out, but they were fighting in the locker room. Why do you think Ben Simmons and him could not get along on the basketball court? Maybe because of Doc Rivers, but nevertheless, the whole reason why is Embiid doesn't get along with others. That's why Harris, there were stories coming out that him and Harris weren't getting along. Why? Where's Harris playing now? He's in Detroit. There, He's got a problem getting along with players. And he is a personality. He's a sensational player. There's no question. He was complaining two years ago uh, that he should have won the MVP. He finally won an MVP. He's the only big man in NBA history to win an MVP and not take his team to a conference finals. That says a lot about who he is as a leader. The guy is not a good leader. He's a problem for the organization. And by the way, he's making a lot of money. And who wants to take on a guy that has knee problems and can't get along with any other player, not even on his own team, in the NBA? It is a big problem. The 76ers, and everybody keeps saying, well, he's a good player. He's a good player. The guy doesn't want to play back-to-back -back games this year. That tells you and that sells you, are you going to pay this guy what he is making right now? He's making over $50 million. You're paying a guy over $50 million that already told you that he's not playing back-to-back -back days. This is a problem. And the 76ers have him for another four, three or four more years. It's a problem. And I don't know what they're going to do with it because he's got knee problems and he's in his 30s. Uh, it's it's detrimental to the team. It's going to hold the team back from growing. 51.4. Yep. Good night. Oof. Good night. Yeah. I would like to have some of that money. Share some of that money. I'll stick up for you. I'll yeah, he's up. he's thirty. He'll be he'll be thirty one in March, and they've already literally came out and said their director of <laughs> basketball ops has already came out and said he probably won't play back to back at all, and maybe not Paul George either. Like, keep that in house. Like that doesn't need to be everybody's information. You just say you're taking a day, and yeah, it's. It seems like bad things are following him. I, I, I do. We were talking about this off air. I, I do think there are certain things that you don't cross, and family is one of them. Um, and to the extent of what it is, be a man and you know apologize to him in person. You know, and B did the did the press conference, and he obviously wasn't there, and and used used a few uh, vulgarities in there to get his point across. But yeah, uh, yeah. and then I mean, literally, like. <laughs> The quote that that Embiid says, <laughs> he told the columnist, and this is on Bleacher Report, you're going to see what I'm going to do to you if Hayes references his brother or son again. Mm -hmm. And is there better ways to go about it? Probably. But you can tell me I stink, I'm garbage, I'm soft, I'm whatever. That's fine. I get it. That's your opinion of me. I am the one that is being perceived this way. But don't bring my family into it. It doesn't need to be mentioned. Like if it's in an article and you're talking about it in, and it obviously in the context of, hey, you know, this, this, and this. And then it goes on to say in the article that, you know, he, when he had his son and named him after his brother, that was the reason he right. didn't play. And I'm like, no, that's, that's, that's unacceptable. And I, I just tell him he sucks and he's soft. Like you're talking to him and whether he takes it good or bad, but that's on him. It's not on his family. It's not on anything. And so that was the only problem. I. This isn't going to be the last we hear him beat anyways. I mean, literally, it's he's been the most talked about dude and hasn't done jack squat diddly. <laughs> and so, I mean, that's not a good thing to have, to be one of the most talked about guys and you haven't even played a game. And I get we all have injuries. I can't imagine being his size and doing what he does. But that's also, you know, part of what you signed up for. And you now you got to answer the bell. And it, you obviously haven't done that. And you, you've you proven to, I don't necessarily know what you call it, being a bully or just attitude or just maybe a mixture of it all, really, um, to where it, it you, you haven't done anything to set yourself up to be viewed as, not necessarily the good guy and is there always needs to be a villain yes but at the same time there's not one thing you've done where it's made it feel like oh, okay well this is oh yeah i got bad knees 
Well, I'm assuming most of you guys playing in the NBA have bad knees. I mean, I have, I have bad knees, and I didn't even play. So, yeah. but yeah, I just, it just, the family aspect of it is kind of the only thing. But other than that, he deserves all this BS that he's getting because it's true. Like, okay, play play eight minutes a game, play 10 minutes a game. Mm. At yeah. least you're on the court. At least they're getting something out of you. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't even know how to handle it because I I wouldn't I wouldn't even want you to be a part of the team because you're showing me like yeah I have bad knees okay they haven't said anything about sur- a, a recent surgery they haven't said anything about that he's he's working his way back what does that mean like you give no context to when you're just I feel like they're protecting him for no reason and I don't know what that reason would be because like you said. He is the face. He even said it in his thing. He's like, I've done so much. Well, what has he you, done? That what has he done? He said, I've done so much for this city and I mean, what has he done? What has yeah. he done? I, he, is this the same guy that uh, job? I don't know, but uh, I, you remember the Nick fans going over there to Philadelphia and calling the fans assholes. Okay. That's what he said after the fact that New York fans went over there. He said, How could you? Let how could the Philadelphia fans allow New York fans take over the Philadelphia area and Philadelphia playoff game when playoff games over there in Philadelphia and call them asses? That's what he said. So how could you like him? If if I was a fan of his, I wouldn't like him. I think he's an idiot coming coming out and, and calling me all these different crazy, dumb, stupid names. So it's okay for him to do what he does, but it's not okay for somebody else to come out and say what what they feel about him and, and, and his personal life. Honestly, we've heard uh, guys like uh, Embiid say some things personal about Ben Simmons. Remember when Ben Simmons was there and he took his shots at Ben Simmons on the basketball, his work ethic and all that other stuff. And, and he also said, he said, how did, where did he learn his work ethic? Maybe he learned it from home. Remember that? Remember when he was throwing Ben Simmons under the bus and his family? But it's okay when Embiid does it, but it's not okay when somebody talks about Embiid and his family. OK, it's, it's it's bad when you attack, attack somebody's death, you know, his brother who, who died and all that other stuff. That was bad. But nevertheless, he can do it. And nobody else can do it. Damn shame on Embiid. Embiid needs to grow the F up. You're making 50 million dollars a year. If somebody wants to call you an F, if somebody wants to call you or say anything about this, this and that, don't worry about it. Just go and play the game and shut the hell up. You're making that money. It doesn't matter to me. He literally this is from Kyle Newbeck on. Uh... X Twitter and Bede says, when I see people saying he doesn't want to play, I've done way too much for this city, putting myself at risk for people to be saying that. I think it's BS like that dude. He's not here. Marcus, I've done way too much for this effing city to be treated like this. So he can, he can give it, but he can't take it. You're 30 years old. You're a grown man. What are we doing here? Like grow up, figure it out. 